guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Ocean of Nokoi. So, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I was about to fuck up and say, if you guys have tried it again, oh my god! <laughs> but like, yeah, mm -hmm, that video was like, mm, two seconds long. Oh, hold on, I got you. Wait. Me and him, always fighting. <laughs> First. Stuff makes simple like white. Yeah, because everyone is really here for mom.
Oh, my poor baby. She in her head too much. Sorry, my mom stuck to me. Baby. Baby is at her own damn funeral. Oh! See, I feel like the only one who can truly say that to her right now is Aqua. So hopefully he shows up. Hey, we hope so. It was a good song and good performance. Ooh, that's me. Immediately after something. Crash! <laughs> Right. 
<laughs> He's saying that, but inside, I'm like, yes, I still have a fucking chance. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you you kind of secretly just root for both, and whoever wins wins. <laughs> Ain't that funny. Truly. True, you are right about that. That dress is really cute. I saw a longer one yesterday at Walmart, but I'm not into the longer ones. I like the shorter ones. I have nice legs. It kind of gives me some Roni Kenshin type feels. <laughs>
That looks perfect. Look at my nails, they're so cute. <laughs> of course, duh. <laughs> duh. She's right. Never post in real time. And never use your exact location. Yeah. Excuse me. Right? Why? You know what? Y'all scare me, but you know, that's okay. I'm like that too. It's perfect.
That's a good way to end season one, truly. Like, th overall, this was a damn mother effing good first mother fucking season. Because, God, this was good. Too fucking good. I, I just gotta say, like, 10 out of 10 would fucking recommend to everybody that I fucking know if they haven't watched this already. But, I mean, like, it leaves an opening for, like, anything. Because you're ending the show with a lot of unanswered questions still. I personally, in my opinion, um, dad-wise, once again, as I said, like, by episode one, maybe two or three, would have liked to maybe seen a little hint of him somewhere. Like, he is secretly watching over them and such. Like, he knows about them and everything. But... Um, the show's not going to be fairly obvious and immediately give him or show him to us, of course. That's why, like, even with the moment where you see the crow looking at Ruby transitioning to Aqua, it looks very similar to a camera and indicating, even though it wasn't a camera, it was a crow, but in my mind, I was like, God, you're kind of giving me feels of, like, you know, a private investigator literally saying, like, hey... This is what I want you to do. Go out and stalk everybody who's connected to this girl. Find out her kids, anyone who still knows anything about her, sort them out. If you have to, kill them. But who knows? Who, who really, truly knows? But the performance, babies did good. Kana, you did good. She was really, truly, like, between her and Ruby, they were both outshining each other, like, depending on either song. And I'm happy for that. But, like, oh, I just, I wish we could just get season two next week because, like, God damn it, it just, it's so good. And I hate the fact that we're ending this on this episode. I Number one, I just like the fact that we got 11 episodes. I wanted at least, like, 12, but I get it. I understand 11 is really a perfect number. It kind of reminds me of how when you get a limited series and they're like, hey, here's a beginning, middle, and end within seven episodes. And when you finish the show, you're like still left with wanting more. And so, um, of course, by the time y'all see this, it was already confirmed that, of course, we're getting a season two. Not surprised because it is a popular as fuck show. Now, my thing is... Because there, I think this was around week two or three for this show that it was announced that the creators of this and Kaguya, they're making another series. Boys is going three for three. And hopefully, whatever that series is, that also gets popular as fuck as well. And that eventually gets an anime. Now, what I would like for these series, all three of them to do, is kind of connect in a weird way. Or like, okay, for Kaguya to have some kind of reference to this, to this, to have a reference to Kaguya. And then the newer series to have a reference to both of them. Just like cute little Easter eggs that I could see like every single week and such. Or they could be smart. Um, I mean, in my opinion, Pretty Cure has already done it with the, with Kaguya, Chica, and I, all three of them are all fucking Pretty Cures and what, and well, three different shows, but, um, they could have any one of those seiyus from Kaguya-sama come into this show and then vice versa for this show for Kaguya, and then eventually when that third and, well, I'll say third and final for now, um, gets a series or an anime adaptation, they could do the same thing. Because it's really interesting when, you know, a manga gets to have three different shows or several different of his his or her products out all at the same time, and then they love to put Easter eggs to other shows. And it's just, it's just, come on, chef motherfucking kiss. But, like, literally in the moment for Ruby Hell in that performance, she looked so much fucking like her mommy. And I'm just like, ugh, take it back. I'm just so proud of her. And I'm proud of all three of them and what they did. How I'm happy Aqua was there because, of course, like, yes, you saw a lot of yellow pen lights because, mem, I mean, come on, she's a fucking YouTuber slash TikTok, TikToker ish. She was going to get the majority vote of popularity and such. I already knew coming into this that she was going to get the most pen lights there at her performance. Ruby was going to get a little bit. And then 50 out of 50, Kana was either going to get, like, the shortest one. She only had a couple. So, yes, of course, like, her little battle that she has with herself and her, um, 
in our inner monologue. I completely get that because we are all in our heads. We all get in our heads all the fucking time. Like, there's never a moment, even when I'm at work, even when I'm recording, I'm in my head. Like, oh, if I say something wrong, I <laughs> either I will immediately say it out loud or after I'm done recording or while I'm recording it, I'm like, why the fuck did I say it? Or why did I say it like this? And, da -da -da, and I'm like, oh my God, Jesus. But it's just, don't second guess yourself. Be true to your word and true to yourself. And I just love the fact that, you know, he he comes in just as this, for her, this big ball of sunshine, this ray of like pure energy and being like, yes, I still have a chance. Even though, yes, he's with Akane. Yes, a girl, homegirl is over here like, yes, I got a motherfucking chance to take this man away from this girl. But at the same time, because yes, Akane is my best girl. Akane is also my second best girl. Like I'm in a moment where I can just root for both to just try for his heart. But in the end, we all know one of them is going to be hugely disappointed and such. And then my thing is, whoever is possibly, let's say if there is a private investigator looking into Aqua and Ruby and such, and the more dangers of the entertainment industry, um, goes along with this series, what if because of that, they also go after whoever Aqua is with? So then because of that, let's say they have to break up. And it's like, it's not because I'm not in love with you anymore. It's because due to what I'm what I'm doing and finding the truth out, you're just in danger as I am. And so that would be the smart and logical thing. So it'd be like, oh, hey, they broke up. And then secretly, maybe if they really wanted to, just to find ways to still be able to see each other and stuff. Or like I said, yeah, pretend to break up and let <laughs> social medias, um, news articles, everybody freaking out around the world. And then secretly, you know, when no one is looking, you make sure you got some good behind dark ass glasses, make sure your hat's on and everything. You secretly go, you go somewhere together. You just don't take any fucking pictures. That's all. There's a lot of things that they could really do with this, but I, I love the way it ended, truly. But now it's just like, what the fuck is going to happen with season two? When the fuck is season two coming out? And, you know, how the fuck season two is going to go? Um, but I feel like since we did not see the father in this season, we will definitely see the baby daddy in season two. There's got to be like some little hint. And he, like I said, he is around. I just, I want to see him. I want to know what the fuck this bastard looks like. And how maybe possibly twisted or evil he is. Who knows? Because especially how, going back to episode one, and any time when I was on the phone talking with him and such, and they would get into arguments and saying like, oh, hey, like, these are your kids. Like, you should really spend time with them. And oh, hey, you want to be a deadbeat dad? Okay, you're full of shit and I don't give a fuck about you. So whenever we do see him, I want him to die. But who knows? We'll, we'll see what we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards the entirety of season one of Oishi no no Koi. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys whenever the hell season two comes out. Knowing me, I will definitely rewatch this because it's just that good. Um, now the biggest question is, will I read the manga? Honestly, even as of now, I don't know. Like, I, I am curious, but... Just like I was when I, I finished season two of My Hero years ago and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to read it. The one thing that I hated about reading the series and eventually, you know, being up to date with it was because I knew things. And with this, I really want to stay like hidden. I don't want to know shit. But at the same time, I do. So I probably maybe will wait until like season two or season three. Maybe. I don't know. I, I know my... I, I know I'm weak towards the sub-series that I really like, but we'll see. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!